Hello Rocketeers, I made this in Rocket League by driving around with my car on a map covered in snow. Let me show you how I painted it and how you can make something like this yourself. So how do you draw in Rocket League? A little bit of the titanium white. At first you have to select a map that has snow on it. Man feels snowy is probably the best for this purpose. While in the game you can make traces on the field in several ways. Driving with your car, jumping with your car, switching to spectate, or letting the ball roll. But beware, scoring a goal resets the whole field and everything you created is set back. Also, you don't have any other undo options. Snow that is gone on the field is gone, until the next overall setback. If you want to play it safe, create an exhibition match with the time limit and boost set to unlimited as well as goal setback disabled. And don't forget to set your world details to high, otherwise your snow will look like this. Ugh. If you don't want to use the ball to draw at all, you can also switch to the cube or just don't touch the ball, so it can't accidentally roll into a goal while you're busy drawing the next Mona Lisa. Also in replays, you have to let the whole thing redo itself, skipping forth or back resets as well. Use 200% speed to get it done quicker. So, how did I do my drawing and why? In January, Rocket League YouTuber Rocket Sledge invited his community to take part in the snow art competition. I loved the idea of bringing art to RL, so I decided to take part. My first attempt was totally creative, a rocket. Yay. I wasn't really happy with how it turned out and put the whole idea aside, not even sending it in. Some days before the competition deadline, my motivation was back and I wanted to do something better. Here's how I pulled it off. My basic idea was to use the kickoff circle as a pupil, so at first I drew an eye around it. Making some outlines with the car in the snow and re-driving the roots for bolder thickness. For higher contrast I cleared the whole pupil from snow by jumping. A lot. I was really scared to touch the ball here. Let's add some eyelashes, the top and at the bottom. And it's looking good. Next step, nose and lips. First drawing some outlines with the car and checking whether the proportions check out. Hmm, no, not really. So first nose job, optimizing the shape of the lips. And some jumping again to clear out the outlines. Nose job number two. And I'm starting to draw the lips and uh, the chin. After this, uh, the first hair outlines are done. These were really fun because I didn't have to do them that accurate and could just wiggle around with my car. Then I made the thick eyebrow by driving and jumping several times. Little checkup time in the air. Oh no, that mouth is way too small. So I'm gonna enlarge those lips a bit. This was the first time I really would have wished to have an undo button. Starting again after 12 minutes? No way. Then I completed chin and neck outlines. And of course some jumping to get a clearer image. Then I draw the ear and had this moment where I uh, slide it off a little bit too far. <laughs> Whoopsie. Maybe it's an earring? Piercing? Checking again, making that outline of the neck, adding some hair, the usual stuff. Then I applied the good old cross shading technique to the neck area. Some more outline driving and jumping. Checking again, jumping again. Oh yes, and starting to get a little bit crazy. But I improved on my jumping technique. Those double jumps really come in handy to clear larger areas. Looking good. Some more hairlines, some more jumps, more hair, more jumps. Looking even better. After some more hair riding and jumping, I drove the last clear outlines for the hair and the hat to get some higher contrast. All right, this is coming together. Adding the hairlines did take a long time, but it was kind of fun because you were just driving around. That whole jumping thing was frustrating. It was taking so long to clear everything from the snow. 
and there was a lot of snow to be cleared. But the image got clearer and clearer by minute. I redrew those last outlines to get them thicker. While I was clearing those huge areas, I came upon the DH just to sign the image, like every huge artist does. Totally humble. So, put some lines, at least my Z is pretty easy. And et voila! The maze. Some more clearing on the pitch to get rid of those last snow particles and a final check driving around and yeah, I was pretty pleased. I made sure to save that replay and destroyed my over one hour lasting work by shooting a goal and resetting the whole thing. Gone. I probably should have made use of the spectate option rather than flying to the wall for regular checks. Then maybe the proportions wouldn't have been that off. It's hard enough to draw realistically seeming faces on paper, but here, in my head the final result looked something more like this. But I'm still happy with how it turned out in the end. Looks a bit like Leela from Futurama, don't you think? My little cyclone. It's so cool that this game always finds new ways to surprise you. If you like my drawing, vote for my image so I have a chance to win in Rocket Sledge's competition. The link is in the description and while you're there, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm thinking about making some more snow art in Rocket League to show you here. If you happen to have any suggestions, write them in the comments. And also if not, write a comment. Or two. Or seventeen. It would make me and the YouTube algorithm very, very happy. Thanks for watching and stay artsy.